Hello, everyone. I'm Masatoshi Kudo from Kindai University. My topic today is CUS in small focal level lesions. I'd like to talk about uh, these things. This is outline of my talk. Uh, sonadoid is a powerful button covered by uh, phospholipid. So median diameter is uh, 2 to 3 micrometer. And uh, this microbubbles is take, uh, taken up by Cooper cells. Therefore, the, the, this is from uh, pharmacokinetic behavior of ultrasound contrast agents. As you can see, some of the, uh, different from other uh, contrast agents, definitive or some of you, some of those is taken up by Cooper cells. So there are two phases, vascular phases, and also uh, post-vascular phase or Cooper phase. So, uh, the, there are two vascular phase imaging. One is early vascular phase, uh, uh, lasting up to 30 seconds, and late vascular phase from 30 seconds to around 2 minutes. So, and also there are uh, Cooper imaging using some of the Cooper's phase. The imaging uh, enhances the signal from microbubbles, phagocytos by Cooper cells. So Cooper defect is uh, produced by the absence of Cooper cells, uh, usually in uh, neoplasm or cancer. And post-vascular phase lasts more than 10 minutes, and it's called Cooper image. So there are two types of small ACCs, um, such as early ACC or vaguely nodular type or the distinctly nodular type and these two are completely different in terms of uh, uh, portal vein invasion or intrahepatic metastasis even though these, these distinctly nodular type ACCs are small, smaller than 2 cm, the portal venous invasion is present in 27% and the uh, intrahepatic metastasis is present in 10% already. However, very rare in vaguely nodular type ACC and angiography it is hypovascular in vaguely nodular and hypervascular in distant nodular type. And the uh, uh, human he uh, hepatocellular carcinoma develops in a multi-step fashion from a low-grade dysplastic nodule or primary lesion to early stage ACC and, and finally to progress ACC. So differentiating three uh, steps are very important. However, the most important thing is uh, correctly diagnosing diagnosis of uh, progress ACC. So in this presentation, I will focus on the surveillance and diagnosis of small hypervascular typical ACC. So why is it important to diagnose ACC in small size less than 2 cm in diameter? Because ACC recurs frequently even after potentially curative treatment such as abrasion or resection. Um, local recurrence or interhepatic metastasis occurs very frequently, which is called early recurrence, around 20% annually. And also multicentric recurrence occurs uh, 10 to 15% annually which is called rate recurrence, and overall recurrence rate is 15 to 20 percent per year. So why is this recurs so frequently? Because of uh, imaging and detectable intrahepatic metastasis is so frequent, even in small NCC, less than 2 centimeters. 
Another cause is secondary carcinogenesis or multicentric occurrence. This is a uh, uh, myocarb of HCC recurrence after curative treatment. One year recurrence rate, three year, five year recurrence rate is 24, 63, 83%. Early recurrence is very uh, steep, and those late recurrence after two years is uh, relatively low, but uh, still five-year recurrence rate is 80%, 83%. So detection of small hypervascular ACC is very important. In order to improve patient survival or prevent intrahepatic metastatic recurrence, early detection of small ACC Less than 1 to 2 cm by USC US is preferable since surveillance by CT or MRI is not realistic. A small hypervascular ACC measuring 1 cm in diameter, microsatellite vision is very rare, and also microscopic, uh, microscopic vascular invasion is very rare. However, imaging and detectable satellite vision is uh, frequent 10% and microscopic vascular invasion is 27% uh, in uh, 2 cm size ACC like this. So after ablation by radiofrequency ablation, imaging undetected in undetectable intrahepatic metastasis can be detected as a local recurrence uh, several months later and, and, and as uh, intrahepatic metastasis. However, this one centimeter size uh, ACC can be uh, completely cured by radiofrequency ablation. So, the small, the detecting the small region like one to two centimeter is very important. I'll show you the injection method with sonazoid. Characteristics of sonazoid uh, is a real-time vascular imaging and also provide stable proper imaging lasting up to 60 minutes. Because of these favorable uh, features, breakthrough technique has been invented. It is called Effect repurposing imaging or reinjection technique. By introducing this technique, some of the enhanced ultrasound has get, uh, changed the clinical practice of ACC drastically. What is effect repurposing imaging or reinjection technique? Common sense of imaging dynamic studies such as contrast enhanced US, MDCT, or MRI is a diagnosis based on enhancing pattern according to time sequences or phases like arterial phase, portal phase score, equilibrium phase. However, some of the enhance US uh, provides the innovation different from a uh, uh, son of you or optimism. The sonazoid has a stable and long lasting Cooper phase. So we can change, we, uh, we can introduce new way of thinking because of its uh, uh, long lasting Cooper phase by injecting, by injecting the sonazoid, the both Cooper image and artery image are obtained at the same time. So the factory pressure imaging can detect the B mode undetectable nodules. For example, Cooper phase, if when Cooper phase show a defect, if, uh, if the injection provides enhancement inside the defective region, this enhancement leads to a, a correct diagnosis of typical ACC. However, the injection does not show a uh, enhancement within the defective area, this uh, means no typical ACC, such as rejected regenerative nodule or post-abrasion necrotic region. 
So the effect reproduction imaging provides two different phase information, Cooper phase and arterial vascularity. Uh, Cooper defect and arterial vascularity can be obtained on the one ultrasound frame. So that phase fusion imaging makes it possible to de detect as well as to confirm the diagnosis of HCC with a very high confidence level. So, for example, B mode undetectable HCC, but uh, detect detectable by uh, MDCT as early enhancement with venous pressure. First, if Cooper uh, phase show a defect and the injection show artery enhancement, ECC is confirmed. And also, local recurrence of the RFA can be detected, detected as a, uh, by the partial enhancement with the reinjection technique. And also, this can be used as a needle insertion guidance. And also, this technique can be used for screening, like uh, we can depict the Cooper defect and, uh, and then we inject the uh, somazoid again, then enhancement is obtained. We can depict the um, focal level lesion and the injection technique, uh, ACC is confirmed. So tiny ACC nodules, less than one to two centimeters, becomes detectable. So I'll show you the results of prospective study. Uh, 292 consecutive serotic patients were screened by Cooper base scan in two institutions. First injection was performed at the outpatient clinic, then patient walked to the ultrasound department. Cooper face scan was performed without BMO scan 10 to 16 minutes after injection, and second injection or the injection was performed if ACC is suspect. I'll show you one case, hepatitis C related serotic patients, child QA liver function, and the three tumor markers were all normal. The count was slightly decreased. And uh, on B mod ultrasound, no uh, apparent tumors were detected. But at uh, Cooper phase, you can see the tiny uh, defect in this area. So we inject the sonazoid, and you can see the artery enhancement in the Cooper defect area. Then we confirm. ACC and rejected specimen confirmed this is ACC, small tiny ACC. And this is a, 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 another case we can detect to the Cooper defect, small Cooper defect. And the injection technique clearly shows uh, hypervascularity within the Cooper defect. So we confirm this is ACC. And uh, even dynamic CT cannot confirm this is ACC because other enhancement can be seen, but uh, venous washout cannot be uh, confirmed. So in this case, uh, contrast enhanced US is bet, uh, superior to dynamic CT. And this is another case, very tiny Cooper defect was uh, de detected, but not on B mode ultrasound. So we, in, in in performed the injection of sonazoid and the injection technique clearly show a uh, artery enhancement with, uh, within the Cooper defect. So ACC was confirmed. This is another case. Tiny tumor, tiny nodule was seen in Cooper phase. This is Cooper phase. This is a B model to sound. And uh, uh, in Cooper defect, artery Infusion can depict the uh, arterial enhancement very clearly. So you can detect uh, correctly diagnosis. You can see this is another case of a defect. And the uh, injection technique really show the arterial enhancement. So we have confirmed this is CC. This is a uh, uh, still picture. Cooper phase defect with uh, uh, artery enhancement by the injection technique and compound with ACC, less than 9 mm size ACC. This is another case, Cooper phase defect. 
and the reinjection technique really show uh, uh, arterial enhancement. 10 millimeter sized ACC, which was confirmed as uh, ACC by the Zeta specimen. This, this is the result. B modern Cooper phase screening was performed in consecutive virus rated 292 selected cases from 2007 to 2009. And among them, uh, detected by Cooper phase in 60 cases, 23%. And the Cooper phase on uh, defect was detected by Cooper phase only in 27 nodules, but uh, uh, detected by B mode ultrasound as well in 40 nodules. This was excluded. And the Cooper phase only defect reperfusion imaging clearly showed uh, hemangioma in 8 cases, but uh, diagnosed as ACC in 19 cases and final diagnosis was ACC in 16 cases out of 19 cases, 6% 6, 6 of uh, uh, 292 cases. And misdiagnosed as ACC was one case, cholangic cell carcinoma and high flow type hemangioma in two cases. Uh, so detection rate by MIMO dark sound was only 58.8%. Uh, CS with defect reperfusion imaging was uh, since since detection rate is very high, 98.5%. And uh, sensitivity and specificity in diagnosing ACC is very high in this CUS with uh, defect reperfusion imaging. Sensitivity 97.2% and specificity 90.6%. This is a risk of a small, detected small ACCs by uh, surveil um, Cooper phase surveillance. Uh, size is from 6 mm to uh, 13 millimeter and B model sound or uh, not detected. The Cooper phase show a defect and the reinjection technique was uh, positive and final pathological diagnosis was ACC. So this pilot study clearly shows con uh, uh, consecutive 292 patients with cirrhotic patients received Cooper phase scan. And the injection was performed when Cooper defect was found. Tumor markers for ACC were all normal. B related cirrhotic cirrhosis was 77, 77 cases. C related cirrhosis was 215 cases. In 13 cases, CT MRI cannot be performed due to iodine allergy, renal dysfunction, or asthma. And as a result, tiny hypervascular ACCs were found unexpectedly in 16 patients, 5.5% of which 9 nodules were less than 1 cm. So, follow-up study in 16 patients with small ACC, no RA recurrence was found in any of these 16 patients during medium follow-up period of 2 years. So, next I'll show you the uh, results of prospect prospective randomized study. This is called selective study, sonazoid enhanced liver cancer trial for early detection. B mode ultrasonography versus contrast enhanced ultrasonography for surveillance of ACC, a prospective multi center randomized control trial. This study was conducted at 23 institutions in Japan. And the hallmark of ACC on CEVS and the reinjection imaging is uh, like the arterial enhancement with clear Cooper defect. And uh, this study, 23 site, um, was registered in clinical trials on ACV or HDV related liver cirrhosis. 656 patients were randomized one to one to B mode onto some surveillance every four plus minus one month or Cooper phase CUS surveillance every four plus minus one month 
and the CT MRI was taken every eight months according to Japanese ACC practice guideline. Primary endpoint was size of ACC at the time of first detection. And the diagnostic criteria of ACC is, includes B model sounds is a typical pattern of ACC include mosaic pattern halo or septum. Contrast enhanced US uh, findings, effect in superphase, uh, 10 to 60 minutes post injection, followed by arterial enhancement by reinjection of sonazole at the superphase. And uh, also contrast enhanced CT or MRI artery enhancement with venous wash The result, this is one case, any nodule cannot be detected by uh, BMOD ultrasound. However, Cooper phase scan clearly show the Cooper defect, even though there is no um, nodule on BMOD ultrasound. And the reinjection technique clearly show artery enhancement. Uh, typical ACC pattern, confirm this is ACC. And this is a primary endon point of tumor size of the first detection. The contrast enhanced US could de depict the smaller region, 30 millimeter region, as compared with 16.7 millimeter by B monotosan. Significant difference was observed. And uh, this was divided into ACB and SBB. ACB related ACC. CUS could depict smaller lesion, 12.7 mm size ACC, as compared with 17.6 mm size ACC on B model to some. There was a significant, significant difference. But uh, uh, in HBB related ACC, the smaller lesion was detected by CUS as compared with B monoxon. No significant difference was observed, probably because of small sample size. And treatment of the first AC detection in 54 patients, uh, 37 patients received ablation or resection in 10 patients. So 87% received curative treatment. And as far as sensitivity and specificity, CUS provide 100% sensitivity and specificity. As compared with B model to some, sensitivity was 65% and specificity was 96.9%. And as in terms of cost of imaging, in Japan, B model to some and contrast in the US was not so expensive as compared with the uh, uh, United States or other country. So this is cost effective. So in summary, Cooper phase CUS with sonazoid reinjection is recommended to be adapted to the surveillance program as a first line screening tool for the cirrhotic patients, especially for those with severe coarse red of palenchyma in order to depict hypervascular tiny ACC smaller than one to two centimeters. I'd like to move on to differential diagnosis of focal river lesion because there are two phase, vascular phase and post vascular phase or Cooper phase. We can uh, differentiate tiny river lesions. This is a ACC uh, vascular phase, typical vascular phase. Um, As you can see, the, this is B-mod, this is arterial phase, you can see the arterial enhancement clearly. And uh, in Cooper phase, you can see the clear defect. So this is a typical pattern of ACC. How about this plastic nodule? B-mod ultrasound show a hypoechoic lesion. And uh, this is uh, changes of hemodynamics and Cooper function in uh, cirrhotic liver, the, as you can see, uh, this plastic nodule or RACC show the decreased uh, arterial flow showing hyperintense on arterial phase. And the Kupa phase, uh, I saw a hyperintense in uh, Kupa 
phase because there is a Krupa cells inside the dysplastic nodule. So as you can see, this nodule, there is no arterial flow in the arterial phase. However, portal phase, you can see the portal flow. So early arterial phase, hypervascular, but portal phase, isovascular, due to intranodular portal venous flow. And the Krupa phase, you can see Krupa uptake because there is a Krupa cell inside the nodule. This is an intrahepatic cholangial carcinoma. As you can see, this is a remote ultrasound. You can see irregular shaped mass. Arterial flow, arterial phase, you can see hypervascularity. However, as on postvascular phase, irregular shaped mass is clearly demonstrated. This is a typical intrahepatic cholangial carcinoma. This is another case of ACC. Hypervascularity and early washout on portal venous phase and uh, clear defect on Krupa phase. This is the uh, early phase. You can see the arterial vascularity and uh, early washout and portal phase defect can be seen. This is uh, another case, very tiny, uh, relatively small nodules. Uh, 20 seconds at the phase, arterial vascularity can be seen, and the uh, early washout can be seen. And post phosphor phase, uh, you can see the uh, defect. This is a uh, vascularity on early phase, and the uh, Cooper defect. Uh, early washout in portal venous phase. This is a typical pattern of uh, I, um, ICC. This is metastasis liver cancer. Very small lesion can be detected on B mode of the sun and also Coop, this is Cooper phase. Arterial phase, you can see the peripheral link sign. This is uh, Cooper phase. As you can see, this uh, Kupa defect and the uh, arterial phase peripheral link enhancement can be seen. This is another case of metastasis liver cancer. Peri arterial phase, there is a link, link enhancement type. This is a bladder cancer. Um, uh, primary site is a bladder cancer and the liver metastasis. And also, this is a pancreatic. Uh, Neuroendocrine cancer. This is a hypervascularity on arterial phase, but the Krupa defect can be seen. And this is hemangioma, typical hemangioma. This is enhancement from the periphery to the center. Periphery to the center. This is B mode. This is contrast enhancement. This is a dot like or patchy enhancement on the periphery. This is called globular enhancement pattern. This is another, uh, this is also globular enhancement in portal venous phase and uh, post vascular phase, ISO or slightly decreased uptake was seen. And also, this is another case, globular pattern is uh, evident in the portal phase, uh, ISO intense, but the uh, Cooper phase, low intense. Um, um, low intense can be seen. Also, this is typical hemangioma. Uh, globular enhancement pattern can be seen, and the uh, wash uh, low intense in copper case. This is a uh, angiomyolipoma. You can see uh, hypervascularity. Uh, this is B mode. This is uh, uh, arterial phase. Early venous drainage is frequently seen in angiomyoliform. And the uh, portal venous phase, the remaining enhancement can be seen. And this is uh, portal uh, Cooper phase. The um, slightly decreased if, um, uptake is seen in angiomyoliform. This is a, a multiple hepatocellular adenoma. 
um, shown as the hypervascular on CT during the photography. And on B model to some, or, or continuous enhanced CS, you can see uh, hypervascularity, but not Cooper defect, because Cooper cells is present in hepatocellular adenoma. This is FNH. You can see the typical spoke wheel sign and hypervascularity. However, the Cooper phase, because there is a uh, Cooper cells inside the nodule, hyper intense can be seen on Cooper phase in this FNH. This is also FN typical FNH. Uh, spoke wheel sign can be seen in arterial phase. And the portal phase, there is an uptake in, and still there is a hypervascularity. And uh, this is uh, FNH, typical pattern, and uh, the injection clearly shows spoke wheel pattern. And this is liver abscess. You can see the uh, honeycomb-like pattern in arterial phase and also portal phase. This is motion picture. You can see the uh, arterial vascularity, but uh, no, uh, there is a cystic lesion also. This is typical for liver abscess. So, differential diagnosis of hepatic tumors by CRS is possible. CRS with sonodol is possible. Uh, this is a vascular phase, early arterial, and late vascular phase. So, this vascular phase findings are similar to sonodol. However, post vascular phase or copper phase is different from, uh, is not present by sonodol. In malignant is, uh, tumor, Defect, Cooper defect is a typical pattern, such as ACC or ice intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma or metastasis. However, in benign region, the dysplastic node FNH or adenoma show an isoaptic pattern, and hemangioma slightly decreased on the Cooper phase. So, this pattern, the ACC metastasis hemangioma discussing the FNH, positive predict value or negative predict value is uh, very high. Another important point is the gross classification of uh, hepatocellular carcinoma is possible by uh, Cooper phase of CES. As you can see here, the, the, um, this is a simple model extra gross can be seen, clearly seen, uh, in accordance with uh, uh, dissected specimen. So, this the ability to diagnose pathological findings, sim single nodular type or um, simple nodular type or simple nodular e with extra growth type or confluent nodular type, the diagnostic accuracy is much better in contrast enhanced CS than constant contrast in CT. So accurate gross classification, accurate diagnosis of gross classification leads to uh, correct treatment strategy and a better prognosis. So in summary, some of the enhanced ultrasound with reinjection technique is useful in depicting small ACC in surveillance. And some of the enhanced ultrasound is useful in the diagnosis of small concrete divisions. In other words, differential diagnosis. Thank you very much for your kind attention.